As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. And we know that the Son of God has come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference to declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, that he might be the just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine.